Hello, I'm Jennifer K. Horkims. And these are all the same people here before, but with the addition of these gourds. Um, when I saw these gourds on the Tweedzor, I assumed that they were authentic gourds. Tweets gourd. Um, but no, they are some kind of mysterious... Permagourd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some kind of ultra gourd <laughs> that... <laughs> It's like it defies the season. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I hadn't looked inside because I was privy to it an entire alternate universe. Um, very quickly I have to hold mine. here. So so who do we have to thank for these? Because they gave us cards. Oh yeah, we oh. should open these. This cards. is from Josh this Wells. is from Josh Wells. Yeah. Uh, I hope you find this. Hope this package finds you well. Thank you for the inspiration. Thank you for running such an awesome game for your players. I did my goddamnedest, Josh. I did my goddamnedest. Um, <laughs> if the C team ever needs props or dungeons rendered in three dimensional materials, my service is available. Yes. Your services speak for themselves. Yeah. Sir. This is amazing. These this are... don't make no kind of goddamn sense. Um, uh, but real, real quick, uh, the winners of the uh, Elderwood Academy cool ass boxes are the Nerdy Duck uh, and Varence. Ho, ho, ho! So pass it on, pass this, this crew on down that way. Now you'll note that all of the rest of ours are plugged in, and they're luminous. There's someone's pumpkin that is not luminous. <laughs> And, and we've plugged it in you gotta, and everything. I got a Zazz it. I got a Zazz it. Yeah, do you not have a Zazz switch? No, I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, Mine's is made switch. to be Zazz. I got, I got a Zazz I think yours is Zazz on purpose. Oh, he could go red. Not He's everybody's like, got oh, that go to. Well, hold on, you have an extra Zazz for I mean, the red? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, of course. Here. Ah, oh. oh, so is this not. Oh. Oh. Mm, that is the coolest. That is so fucking sweet. Well, anyway, that ball's out of control. But listen, that's not the only type of goodie that we have either. Hey. Whoa. Take that. We're yeah. friends now. Uh, it's like, uh, hey, you. What are these? Uh, what are those? What are these? I don't even know. I, I don't what even know. They? I knew about the oh, pumpkins because I'd seen them. People are doing so many things. Oh, sorry, my bad. People are staying busy. <laughs> yep, I got oh, yeah. it. Turn around. Every now and then you see. Oh, put those guys together because they're friends. So, together. podcast, you're not going to get a lot out of this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry in We're advance. Looking, we're looking <laughs> at <laughs> engraved metal plates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. These are, everybody's name. These are these oh. cool engraved metal plates. Jeez. Oh, those are cool. Oh, oh, look at this. I love this. A two Ominifus Hereward drawn, a CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. Um, Dinar Blitzen, traumatized father to many, wielder of Percival. Yeah. Walnut Dongrass, last and most favored daughter, uh, daughter of the Enclave <laughs> Panax Anima. It's true. Uh, Rosie Beestinger, grandmother, matriarch of the Beestinger family. Kathris Drow, priest of the unknown, father of Lagadi, and the Glow Man. Um, I love him. Yeah, there's a whole <laughs> section. There's a whole section here that I'm not supposed to read aloud, oh. so I won't. Uh, Spicy. Um, Take this beer. But, yeah, uh, eat it. Eat it, beer. Uh, our labors have pleased him. That's the main thing. Whoa. Um, and you can take a look uh, at these treasures because he did not just make treasures for uh, the C team proper, but indeed for the entire brand, which is very, very cool. Listen, that is like, we're not done yet. Like, so let, let, let's take these plates out. Let me jump in. These oh, pumpkins geez. are insane. They are. I can't. The pumpkins really make no like, sense. I saw pictures of these on Twitter and I was like, well, oh, pictures really cool. They are so impressive. <laughs> Dude, are pumpkins impressive in D and D? Yes. I don't know. Someone call Perkins. These are. Where'd my note go? All right. Well, there's anyway. a golden bee on the back that of one's mine. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to show off this I still haven't got uh, it. Like amazing this 3D oh, printed um, walnut that I got, and the notes here, and I know who it's from, and I'll tweet about it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But somebody moved it under my pumpkin, and it is <laughs> uh, amazing. It doesn't make really? any sense. It's yeah. Cool. Like this is one of the coolest awesome. things. Like We're I have seen. Really it's cool. like you know what I mean. Like motherfuckers, they're always trying to 3D print shit. You know what I mean? Hey, and bud. They do, and it's like, great, good job. But you look at this, and it's like, oh, wow, okay, this is a sculpture. I know. Like, what the fuck is going on it with this? Like, that is, one, that is one of the coolest pieces of walnut art yeah, there is. Yeah, that's super cool. It and it's a 3D object. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be over in this zone. Yeah, and that's Looking the, at this. Here, here yo, so you sign, you sign them shits. Um, and we had seen these oh, online. I'm, so these are, these are the figurines. Oh, yeah. Here, so pass this over to the nut. Um... What you guys, you guys have figurines too. Take a look yum, at this. Yeah. Here, oh, so so get them out of there. Okay. And then put them in the zone so that they can be appreciated. I'm so concerned about hurting. Them. Oh, yeah, I know. I should be in his little jar forever. Oh yes. Oh, um, man. But yeah, greetings, C team. This is Workshop Panda. Of course, you've seen it on there uh, at Workshop Panda on the Ooh. Tweet Zor. Um, greetings, C team. Your ongoing shenanigans have given me great joy and gotten me back into tabletop RPGs. Oh. 
recently started sculpting minis as a hobby. And so what was cool is that we got to see, we got a chance to see the whole thing. Can you tilt him so that the the well, just for a second. Yeah. Don't put weight yeah, on him. Yeah, yeah, boy. yeah. Yeah. But it's kind of mm. good. Sniff me. It's kind of good. Uh, yeah. it's, so Denar Blitzen is his third ever mini sculpt, and he enjoyed making it so much. He's gonna keep. He kept going and made the rest of the C team. Oh, okay. They came out okay, so I'm passing them off to you. Enjoy. No, and there's also awesome some. There's also some castings and stuff in the um, in the box as well. But that is a pretty amazing. That is a pretty amazing gift. Now, yeah. <coughs> there, also, take a whiff. Yeah. <laughs> smells good. Nice. <laughs> Done it. Authentic whiff. How whiffy are we talking? You got a real whiff. Oh Whoa. yeah. It's nice stuff. Damn. Too. That's nice. that's. The premium experience you're looking for. Um, bueno. So, so all we know for sure is that Workshop Panda is from a state that has legalized it, uh, so to speak. And now, so are we. Um, no. So, but you also have this like wand case or something. This looks like some uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter type shit. Yeah. And it has this amazing. So it's got a crest house on it. Blitzen. Yeah. So this is a cool little logo oh, on top. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's, that's the full meal deal. You got a toothbrush. Yeah. Right? You have another toothbrush. The real Percival. One. Percival. Yeah. yeah. And then you have the crack on the top. Like, what a great symbol. I don't know what this is. <clears throat> I don't know what it is I'm either. Excited. Hope it's not one of those, like, snakes. Like, like you open the can and it's like, snakes. Oh, it won't open. Is it supposed to open? Is it just a box? We'll find out. It looks like there's hinges on the back. Oh, oh yeah, fucking maybe it looks oh, like no. that. Oh, no. Ah! What, what is it? Oh. What is going on here? It? Hello, Denar Blitzen. You have been selected to receive this exclusive set of... Torso cushioning sheaths as <laughs> a dragon board of exceeding taste oh and excellence. Oh my god. We here at Shadco and know that you'll be pleased <laughs> with the unrivaled quality of the specimen chosen to grave the face of our new spring lineup. You'll look great while you grab your eight. Oh your my humble god. servant, Sam Hotep. Oh my Dude, god. Here, take here, it out. Here, take it out. But take a look at the okay. shit. First of all, take it out. Oh, yes! 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 Oh, oh someone needs the body filler. Oh. Yeah, but isn't that Shimmer Scale? Is that Shimmer Scale? <laughs> oh, it's yeah. Prince Shimmer Scale. No, it's no, that's oh, Portia, it's him. Right? Oh, but oh look, my God! Turn around on the back. Turn around no, on the back. You're riding, uh, you're riding, no, that's an art. You're riding a stinar. It's, 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 right. it's, 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 it's both sides. It's just because it's both sides of the pillow. That's really good. Oh my now, here, God! Here, but 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 it's Shadow Council, take a look at this. Can you guys set this down in there? Look at the logo Sam Hotep used for Shadow. Yeah, this is good. So if you are if you are one of those. If you were one of those types of nerds, um, you can see that the Shadco logo is actually the uh, Shadow Council. So there's symbol. oh, there's another one. So there's a, a note in here as well. Dear Ryan, please accept these gifts. When Tom suggested co-designing a pillowcase for you, I couldn't resist. He is truly a craftsman. We began this project before TwitchCon, and we're quite proud of the results. It's, <laughs> it's okay for you to cry at the sight of it. Go ahead, we'll wait. <laughs> to the team, thank you all for giving us so much of yourselves week after week and inspiring others to create and build. The rest of the pillowcases will be finished soon. What? Your labors please us. It's a Nurse sheath. normal. Oh, yeah, oh my God. Hey. Hey. Sheathed. You are sheathed in this scales. This is so good. Dude, look at these scales. Your wife is going to love them. Now I don't have to make them. <laughs> nope. No, because yeah, you, well you were legit you pricing so this shit out. I was. Dude. You were going to be the sole Nurse Normal customer. is. Oh, yeah, really Nurse, really Nurse Normal is a premium. Oh, we're at home. <laughs> it's delivering a premium experience every day. Oh, man. Uh, hey, hey, so who, so who is the uh, MVP? MVP? Nurse so Normal. Final episode. Should yeah. we do Nurse Normal and Shad Pose? Sorry. What if it's a season one MVP? Whoa. Oh, hey, can that's we, good. Can we get there? Sure, sure. Like the most important physical object. The acorn, because it brought us. Yeah, I guess the acorn. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the crypt? Yeah, the gold coins. I don't want to, you know, give oh, it that. Family. The cash. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's exactly. Moving. Ohana. Yeah, family was the acorns yeah. we found along the way. Yeah, exactly. No, the golden, ac the golden acorn uh, no, is actually. Amazing. The There's golden acorn is the perfect <laughs> option for. <laughs> They're, for MVP. they're selling uh, ornaments at digs near us, and uh, they're acorns with gold capped uh, tops. And I just stopped and was staring in the mirror, and my boyfriend's like, y You need me Look. to get that for you? Hey. I was like, yes. Oh, nice, <laughs> yes, dude. I you did it. it. You <laughs> done did it. It looks like a Millie. Uh, he has figured out the, the, the cable, he's plugged it in, this he's guy. turned it on, you and it looks it. like a million dollars. What can I do? What can you do? Exactly. Now, um, so we have our MVP. Is there anything that you, before I get to a couple of questions here with the time that we have left, is there uh, anything that you want to talk about? Um, or are you emotionally ravaged? I really like this body pillows. 
Yeah. Um, Talk about them some more. Both of them. They're great. I can't believe the art. Like, her, her Dinar Blitzen is so sympathetic. I don't want to, I, I don't want to promise anything, but her and I are working on a project. Yeah. Where we will be, yes. I believe when I see it. Yeah, I believe when I see it. <laughs> it's true. That's true. I believe she's working on it. It's going to yeah. be a Look. set of Dinar headshots <laughs> that will be available for purchase. Me writing loose, vague notes, and then create a story and art around this, please. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> High five. No one. Yeah. Then, Look, I'm just out. following your lead. Look, I dude, saw it's, it's a, I'm telling you, dude, it's a great line of business. You want to yeah. get in on this. <laughs> you want to come get a piece. I, uh, Portentia being the contact. Portentia Bean? No, being the contact. That was really, really good. I like that a lot. Yeah, I've had, had that. I've had that one for a long time. Omen being in the crypt as like a, a teenager. The, what is going on with that? The ghost. The, 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 the whole thing. The that, whole the the ghost where the the kid could hear us the one time and sometimes they can't and then he did mm. remember us and that's why he came and exchanged. Places with us. I mean, exa- ex- came and exchanged places, but also it's like when you think about when you're hiring, when you're hiring the C team, the, oh, the, the head office actually creates the groups. Yeah. Like, I think I think this campaign turned out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's my feeling on it. I feel like it turned out pretty good. Yeah. Um, that's what I want to be doing with my leisure time. Yeah. Fucking doing shit like this with you guys. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It was insane. How the fuck did it turn out like this? It was really good. Like, I have these ideas, like, a long time ago. That doesn't mean it has to turn out good. Like, I, I get fucking ideas all the time. Yeah. yeah. It, it, you know, generally speaking, it doesn't work out. You can have a cool idea. That's you tried not... giving me this idea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you found a home in this thing. <laughs> no, it turned out super good, you guys. Um, well, here, let me grab a couple questions before we go uh, start drinking in earnest. Um, let's see, uh, Mr. Bertha, who at the table can see the chat feed? Absolutely no one. Yeah. Nobody here at this table can see the chat. Um, Alyssa can see it. I know that, uh, Eric Benson, uh, has watched the chat both by himself and with Alyssa before, but when we, when we're here doing the game for you guys, we want that to be our complete focus. Um, we could run something like that, or we could do it during... Q and A or something like that, but generally speaking, I want to make sure that we are one hundred percent focused on trying to tell a good story for you. And I think th- I think that would be hard. I've always found that when I can see the chat during a live stream, I I'm not present. I'm well, like yeah. I'm watching the chat. You have to partition your mind in yeah. some very monk like ways. Partitioning. Um, Partitioning. Uh, Hearn eighty. Uh, Jerry, how much t- how much prep time do you do for this? I've run a game and never felt prepared even after hours of prep. Well, that's always going to be the case, especially if you have good players. So the main thing that you have to prep for is world state and character motivations. Um, If you know what things are like, and then if you know how the people in those systems are, you can't, you're prepared enough. You just have to be ready to, you have to be ready to, uh, to, to follow your players where they want to go. So the most preparation that you can do, the most useful preparation, is just knowing about the people in your world um, and about the sort of unique physics that you have in your uh, setting, right? How do these things play off each other? Then you're prepared forever. You want to know where you want to get to, but you and the players collaborate the whole way. Um, Most important questions, when does the C team return? Early 2018. Early 2018, um, we're gonna get prepped for the new shit, um, but don't don't be too sad. Um, obviously, next week at PAX Unplugged, we're gonna have our Christmas next special. Week. It's gonna be super good, and not only is it gonna be a Christmas <laughs> special, um, it's gonna be a Christmas special in full costume. So the very first time, our second live game, um, but the first time we've ever delivered in full costume. Um, of course, uh, Danny, who is awesome. Uh, if you saw uh, Chris Perkins' incredible outfit at PAX West, uh, you know what she is capable of. She's going to get it. Um, let's see. Uh, Dinar, how did it make you feel when Grandma Rosie attacked you? What would you like to tell her? <laughs> how did Dinar feel? Uh, yeah, so probably not as betrayed as Walnut, but... It's like Baby Idiot, what was it? Something yeah. Like that. <laughs> Idiot baby. That one didn't didn't sting idiot as baby much either. Good. Yeah, idiot baby. <laughs> idiot like, baby's good. Well. Yeah. Um, hey, so the Shadow Council symbol. This is from Experiment 005. 
Um, the Shadow Council symbol um, is not something that I made up. Um, if you look at the Z caps, so the Z recap videos, the symbol on the Mimir's forehead is the Shadow Council symbol. And now you know. Um, now you know. Are there multiple factions within the Shadow Council? Um, entirely possible. A big part of Season 2 is going to be investigating that connection. Um, is there anything this cycle chapter that you wish you had done that you weren't able to? No, I had months and months. I mean, I had months and months and months to tell it. In fact, if anything, I had a chance to touch on things that I that were not a part of my original story at all. There's a bunch of stuff that was not in the original story that was created as a reflection of uh, and a means to honor the players that I have. Um, so I was actually able to add a significant amount of stuff that would never have existed if it weren't for the three questions, right? And also the months and months of play. Hmm. Um, what's the wrestling promo that Dinar gives when he's discovered that his party betrayed him? Uh, oh. oh, no, I was talking about that. I, I missed a chance when I was commanding where I was going to... I should have Draconic Entitlement then. I wasn't going to be a wrestling promo. I was going to do... From uh, there will be blood. <laughs> oh yeah, at the very end. And just yeah. be like, oh, I drink your gold pile. I am the third revelation. I am the chosen one. I know <laughs> oh, the whole dude, thing. I'll do it all. Murder. <laughs> be murder. Hey Jerry, one of your players' actions totally acted outside your expectations and thrilled you completely. Man, that's tough. That's tough. Would be, uh, wouldn't it be like constantly? Like you would have to because you have yeah, to adapt. I have to jump all the time. Yeah. So. so a good example is, so I said that there was a sad werewolf. I knew that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sitting yeah, yeah. on the rock out front. That's one of the scenes that people like the most from the show. That wasn't planned at all. Like, again, you're talking about, like, planning. I, don't, I didn't write any of that dialogue. I've written, like, three lines of dialogue for this whole campaign. The only thing I know is what the characters are about. And then they can just talk. Like, if I know what they want enough, then I can speak for them and honor them. Um, so... So yeah, I, I had that there as a sad point. It was just there to be sad. It oh. wasn't there for you to go and talk to him. <laughs> I'm gonna make a franchise out of every end. Of yeah, the day. exactly. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it. Hey, uh, again, who are the dead bodies from the Ack Inc. Uh, a Team game? Um, one of the one of the bodies Whoa. was destroyed. Absolutely. Um, that is, I think, a case could be made that that was Portentious first um, stratagem. The second. Is that is that you kind of have to read between the lines, but there's a piece of fiction out there that I put on the tweeter called, um, God, what is it? The Ecology of the Wandering Crypt Diet mm -hmm. that has a theory about what happens when the Wandering Crypt consumes a person. Yeah. Yep. Um, so uh, investigate, spend some time in the channel, spend some time in the Discord. My suspicion is that they will set you straight. Um, Hey, we know Unplugged will have C Team, but will South? Is that something we can talk about? Yeah. 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 I'd like to. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I know. Wait. Um, <laughs> me too. No. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I take it back. Hey, hey, will Ack Inc. and Unplugged be another special? Or will we get back to the main story? Uh, I.e., dealing with the death curse uh, and now this stuff. So, <clears throat> you'll have two games of Ack Inc. at. Um, unplugged, mm -hmm. both of which will feature Rosie Beestinger. Um, and I want to emphasize, Omendron hired Grandmother Knight, not Rosie Beestinger. So you gotta, you gotta bring Grandmother Knight instead. Oh, boy. Oh. That is news to me. You're paying good money. Alright. All right. Now, um, that game is gonna wrap up the Tomb of Annihilation. The, the Christmas special is a Christmas special. It does, it, it's all in continuity. Like, it's a real game. It's not, you know, it isn't just for kicks. Um, They're all real. Well, exactly. But it isn't, it isn't like outside. It literally is going to happen hmm. after this game. Oh. Hmm. Like, that is just our next game. Now, this is the end of the season, but it's like Doctor Who. Yeah. Where you have, like, the season and then you have the Christmas special, right? Got it. Same deal. Same deal. Hmm. Um, who technically has the most offspring now? Rosie, Walnut, or Shadow Realm Dinar? <laughs> I think Shadow Realm Dinar is still the winner. Um... <laughs> And because of the time Rosie difference. is second. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I think that Walnut is probably second. And then... It's a lot of trees. It's a lot of trees. And then Rosie after that. Hey, uh, 
thank you so much. Uh, again, like I'm, I'm very, very moved that you uh, took the time uh, to come and uh, watch us do this truly bizarre form of storytelling for months and months and months. Um, we're just getting started. We are not done by any means. Uh, next week, I hope you enjoy uh, the Ack Inc. main stage game uh, and our cool, fully clothed... What? Garbed. Maybe not. Uh, we'll see. Could be. I want to I wanna make sure that contractually you're obligated to be clothed. I didn't sign it. Sign up to me. It's up to Danny. Yeah. If she Got a week. Us, if she makes us a nude costume, yeah. what are we going to do about it? Um, before we close, uh, oh, yeah. if we could... I would really love it if Alyssa would come on the camera for the oh, first time. Oh, no, she doesn't want to. No, come, Alyssa. She doesn't want to, but her boss told her he would fire she her if go. she didn't. To here. Now, come on. Come, come over here. Come around. All right. Now, come back here. Come back here in a place of honor. <laughs> back here, Shadow Council. This is your most favored servant, Alyssa Grant. <laughs> Indeed, she has enabled all of these shenanigans. I want to take a moment to appreciate uh, vitamin E. Um, that's uh, she, hey, that. Hey, good? <laughs> nice. Here, that's her. That's that's, that's what she looks like. This is one. Alyssa. This is the person I was talking about before. <laughs> hey, is this you. better? Yeah. yeah. This oh, yeah. It's getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> hey, um, but anyway, this this she has worked tirelessly behind the scenes uh, to make sure that um, you get uh, a show that you can really invest yourself in and believe in. Uh, so I want to thank her for that. Um, in any case, uh, I hope that our labors have pleased you. Um, come back and see us next week at PAX Unplugged, um, and then we'll try to get some cool stuff to sort of fill in the gap for you uh, between seasons. But uh, again, an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much.